Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Info Extreme here. Here we are looking at Agro Azores, this is by FSPT, Lost Gamer, as always modding, David Adams, Louise Fresh Freshco and Ra. It is 144.69 megabytes to download. And yeah, so first of all, this is a very small island map. So yeah, if you look at the PDA, obviously I'm gonna go over this all in a bit, time sounds will be down below, but just have to get a scale. That is your normal 2x map, your base sort of size out of the map. And then, yeah, this is a very low oil map, and this is mainly going to be suited for small to possibly medium scale farming. You probably should get away with some large equipment around here and that, but it's not really designed for it, especially the field sizes and access and that. That and more will be having a look. But first of all, as always, we'll go over the map description and then yeah we'll look at PDA slot counts and all that other good stuff so intro goes as following welcome to agro Azores, a southern map that is captures the unique essence of Azores archipelago caught up there already main features of the map is as following 101 green pastures enjoy a wide variety of pastures distributed throughout the lush mountain landscape ideal for ranchers of all levels here, Karen livestock can become engaging and an rewarding experience. There's a complete farm comes with, a farm comes fully equipped, offering everything you need to manage a thriving operation, from animal husbandry to crop production. Factories and processing expand your activities with local factories that allow you to process your products and increase profits, whether it's through dairy, meat, or regional products. Mountains relief. Prepare yourself for the challenge of working in rugged terrain full of ups and downs. Ideal for those who enjoy a dynamic and slightly more challenging agricultural experience. There's a gas station at Herculon store, so this is where we're at the moment now, the Herculon store. And this is where you can refill your gas station, or refill your equipment basically. And yeah, specialized stores, and provide the best agricultural equipment and implements. There is a rich vegetation and authentic details explore the natural beauty of Azores, with the abundant vegetation include reeds and Hydran Hydrangeus, I think that's how you pronounce it. Recreating the unique atmosphere of this region. The map is a true work of art designed to be visually stunning and culturally immersive. And then lastly it says intimate environment with compact and well structured layout. Agrazors offers an immersive gaming experience ideal for players who prefer a more cozy environment close to nature. And it's recommended for farmers and ranchers who want to Farmers and ranchers want to work in the depth of experience of mountains and challenged landscapes. Players who enjoy authentic settings inspired by the rich culture and beauty of the Azores. Livestock is enthusiasts for the map, during the carrying and raising of livestock in expansive pastures. Discover the wonders of Azores on Agro Azores. The map combines challenge, beauty, culture, rich atmosphere. Get ready for unique agriculture immersion where every harvest and every creation reflects the spirit of the islands. Good luck and good harvest. So that was a bit of a chunk of inscription. Doesn't help, description, everything is like so spaced out. There's like one, two, three, four characters of spacing. Just put it, make sure it's one space, not three, four spaces between. So I don't have to scroll down constantly in that. But anyway, so yeah, here we are. I've got some money in the account, so that's because also things like the exterior axe want to test some things with this later on. But anyways, as always, first of all we'll go over slot counts and your starting equipment and it goes as following. On all three modes it is 750. Slot count can go down to 657. You can get down a little bit more if you remove a couple of bits at the main farm now. So we'll look at that in a bit. Actually, you know what, let's go over there now. So yeah, if you go over to the main farm, you can remove, I think it's the bunker silo, the slightly custom in your pits, not really that custom, I'll explain that in a sec. And the farmhouse, so yeah, for that you get that down to 642 or 640 slots. But anyways, let's go over your starting equipment. So starting off where you got the class Arian 660 and Massey Ferguson. MF3709A, sorry, AL, so that's the Alpine version. For the trailer, has got the class Carrot 140TD, a small plow, small power hado with the cedar net, and the planter. Do you have a story tank, tether, windrow, 
a uni wrap so bell wrap inside each net and that's you got the Cumbra Forge Dragon in that so overall mint so yeah that is your slot counts and now let's go over the main farm net so yeah you do start off as a small plot of land on new farm modes which contains plot 30 so that is it also on the map there is no custom crops in that no custom crop counter in that but in build mode there is one or two things so I think it's under yeah, it's under silos so yeah it says this is a custom asset so this goes here obviously in that but the difference is compared to base game is the trigger icon that's all I can gather in that because yeah, same capacity in that, it's just the icon is on the right side, base game. But with the custom one, it's obviously where because of the landscape in that. It's more pointed to the front, so you can load up from here. Running know how to go to the side. So it's from that. Nothing under site expansion, so that's how I put my money in. And yeah, there's nothing else besides from... Yeah, nothing under animals. All I've noticed is you do have some slight custom trees in that, so if I go over here now, first of all, if I want to put a, yeah, these here, because you do have a couple of these trees here, so if I put a old spruce tree down here in that, and if I go find the base game one, spruce in that, Oh, right, now I thought there was spruce trees. So, so you do get this, some of the different kind of trees up. Stone pine. So, yeah, with the oaks, birch, and all that, you get base game. But custom wise, yeah, these are just different trees in general now. So, you can put a bunch of these old spruce trees down because are these going to be too big to cut down? Yeah, so with these ones, if you're going to chop them down with like a tree harvester, you need the platinum expansion one or just cut these down and then trim them down and then move them as you wish but yeah so that's build mode slot counts and that now for the pda overview that so obviously on new farm mode you get plot 35 so that contains your main farm and fill 30. overall in general fill prices aren't that bad in that for yeah the size of that maybe not as economically viable compared to other maps and that but yeah, you've got a lot of lush terrain to look at. But yeah, also you can purchase the exterior of the map, which contains the forestry, your main production hub area. And yeah, pretty much everything, your cells and all that. Vehicle shop, dairy. And just, yeah, everything in between. Obviously, you also do have a couple of little nested forestry areas. That aren't part of the expansive exterior net. But yeah, 30.6 mil, that is quite expensive in that. Obviously, yeah, there's also contracts on the map. Plenty to offer, obviously, with what was it 101 pasture fields in that, 101 fields. But yeah, so you're here along with your cell points. And then yeah, a couple up here, so you've got your animal cells, selling of bells, and your cells, dairy production, and your vehicle shop. Then going up the road, you've got your gas station, and then yeah, got your florist or I'm guessing that's the forestry area, isn't that? Obviously, they're just icons, there's nothing there, I think. At least, nothing I've noticed in that, because yeah, if I go over there, yeah, it's just teleports you to here and that, so that's slot count, cell points, and all of that, so yeah, we're going over the main farm net. See, so yeah, I think what I'll do is actually if I go, let's start from the shop and that, and we'll come back to the main farm net. So yeah, here we are at the store, just down here. So yeah, I think yeah, if I just go down here and then yeah, we'll loop back around up and that. So yeah, go to on the store and that. Going to be spawn point and reset point for your equipment. And yeah, hop into the cloth here and then yeah. I thought yeah, use this rather than a pickup because it's a small island map. Got your dairy there to your right, base game and that. But yeah, I do love the, the bushes and that, they do look nice. Your bell cell point and your cell point and all that. 
But yeah, if you go to your productions and or your prices and that, so yeah. Most of it's going to be animal cells. No cell point for olives and that, but again, plenty of mods I can let you use. I sell every container by Schultz Modding. Nothing for cakes. Now again, same thing. Chocolate as well, Nat. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not too sure why on that. It's like, if you look, yeah, include some productions. Well, at least just uh, all star points take the production items. So yeah, I think that is sugar cane, right? Is that sugar cane used as like a barrier, Nat? It does look, look a lot like sugar cane, Nat. But if I go into your PD, Nat. Obviously, Sugar King, that is going to be very popular around here now, obviously. Obviously, no one's doing Sugar King by the looks of it, no. But yeah, they just look like Sugar King, that they do. But yeah, also, what I'm going to do is, because I can always forget all my map tours and that, I'm going to turn automatic engine off so we keep the engine running. So yeah, I'm going to head down here, and yeah, i got to say, it's like, even though there's like sugar kings and that, they do, you do get that immersive experience. But anyway, so yeah, here is going to be your production hub, so all your productions is nested over here, and this is part of the 30 mil Bible area net. So yeah, it will be pretty expensive in that, so actually, before we go further ado in that, because I think I tell one of the other item maps in that. Can you create land in that? So, for example, we've got this purchase of uh, to plot one in that. Just so I can use that as a baseline in that. So if I go to landscaping, go to terrain, so I press square on PlayStation for my level in that. Can we create land? Oh, no, you can't on this game. Oh, no, you sort of can. Sort of see there's some lands coming up in that. Yeah, it doesn't really let you go outside the map too easily, but. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So you can create more land if you want. Obviously, you can see the rate of money we're losing at the moment. Yeah, 300,000. Yeah, you're going to spend a lot of money to get a lot of... Well, not much sand. Yeah, I've almost spent, like, well over 100 grand for this small section of land over here and that. So, is it worth doing it? Possibly no, but... If you just want to put a chuck of money into the game, Nat, or you've got money to spend, then yeah, by means, use this, Nat. Now, test if I can go further out. There we go. Get all that, all that land. Oh, nope. There we go. So, yeah, you can, obviously... Go and create more land if you want. Is it worth it? No. Obviously, you can sort of look how much money we're using. But yeah, just for that small land section there. If we go to our finances, how much? Yeah, 600 grand on the construction at so yeah. It is definitely not worth doing it, but again, it's an option there available if you want to, man. So. I think how I would do this map tour now is I'll go around clockwise, so head up here and out. Because, yeah, that would do is lead us around. So, yeah, yeah, we're coming around here and that. Actually, I may swap for a pickup and that. Do I? Actually, no, this should be fine. But, yeah, sort of taking that view and that. Map does have some very nice undulating terrain in that. Actually, I think I will go and grab a pickup, so bear me a sec. It's alright, yeah, there we go. I thought, yeah, let's grab the pickup and that, just so that we can scoot through certain sections of this and that. 
but yeah, Shorty terrain is again nice actually now. So far in here it's gonna be of challenge now. So for example we say all well, equipment requires 120 horsepower. I'll say go for at least 150, 180, if not 200. Base game now there's plenty of mods now that like, well base game now there's plenty of equipment now that lets you have that power now and not be too big. But of course there's mods now, so things like the New Holland short wheel base nets get a lot of power for that, so like up to, I think it's about 300 dollars how you can get for the short wheel base New Holland nets. And yeah, it's got that short wheel base, so that lets you, yeah, just have all that power now, so, actually I think we go along here, so yeah, again, just quickly zoomed up here and that. So yeah, I think if I go, yeah. Go around here and so we can have a look up north. So yeah, this is gonna be I'll say a short map to relax, it'll be easy to wait minutes half an hour and that. But yeah, I just want to take in all the views and that, make sure I explore everything, and showcase its beauty and that. But yeah, I think the undulations and that like the hill points and that. Again, this could be something that it makes in real, real life, I'm sure now, but Again, comfy aspects, and just in general now, playing other maps than that, I've never really engaged at all with them, but now, haven't really engaged something that is like this very undulating very quickly now, there is a lot of undulations going on here, and all in such a compact space, that's why I think it sticks out a lot more than that, it's just where obviously it is all very compact, again it's an island map and that, I think I have to go up here. Come on, get that power down. But yeah, things like that, that should key, like kind of I guarantee that is should key texture now, that has a fill barrel now, as a hedgerow now. But yeah, oh, look at that. That is a very nice view now. Yeah, you can sort of continue on this path now, because I think this will take you up to the very tippy top, and there we go. Now you're king of the island, Nat, so... I think I'll do a scoot down here, Nat. Past the forestry areas, and then... Yeah, I think we'll come down here through the gas station, Nat. Take a little swing up here, then we'll go back down to the store. And yeah, that will be the map tour, Nat. Again, as I mentioned, it's a small island map, so... I think there'll be too many things to look at in that. But yeah, so overall impression of it is a good map in that. Is it for me? Not, I'll admit to that. So, back on the road here. We'll take this road down. And yeah, it's so all loops and swings. I'm sure if you want to go the direct route in that. But you may encounter some issues there. But yeah, there's no AI traffic now. Make sure I haven't got that set off by accident on my end. So AI traffic. Yeah, traffic's on that, so you're alone in the world and that. In a way, alone on the island, so you can farm to your heart's content. And as I go around, yeah, perhaps you can get away with some large equipment and that. But a lot of it is just based on turning that where you want to go now, so yeah, she is going to go ahead up here for a little bit, so take a little off route direction, so yeah, for example, this area here, you'll struggle to get any large tractors with a large wheel base in that, or large white base at least. So yeah, again, medium equipment, small equipment is recommended. A nice little flooded pond here. Is that meant to be like that? So, alright, technical difficulties there, and yeah, I think actually that just perfectly gave me an opportunity to test the AI. And in terms of directions and that, it's absolutely garbage and that, because yeah. Oh, go to a field? Nope. Okay, go to a path? Nope. Heck okay, it, let's target the main farm in that. So yeah, if you want to use AI in that to transport your vehicles in that, then 
This ain't gonna be the map for you and that because yeah, AI yeah non existent is Yeah, again maybe the fills and that they are not I'm sure hundred percent sure that will work. But yeah, that weird flooding feel of that. I guess it's meant to, you know, simulate get yeah, some of the flood that you can get with the time race maps and that. Or the time race map. See you're not plural. Well they say that with FS25 and that, you get your flooded fields and that. So yeah, we're over here and that. So yeah, will you go to here now? Target is unreachable now, so basically this map's been programmed or it's been created with no programmed AI in that, so that's the lovely that. That's gonna really impact the score on that because just <laughs> yeah, so oh yeah, I said it was gonna go to the gas station, so I will loop around and just do the more direct route that, so go along this path. Around 6159, that should take us to the gas station. But yeah, so no AI ability in that. I get the idea behind that flooded field in that, but you're up so high in that. Wee! Oh, oh no, 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 no! Man, that goes steep, that does. <laughs> How far did that go down? <laughs> Literally, that went from flew flew over the gas station there with that. Yeah, literally flew over it and oh god. Take two or take three. So, anyways, we are at the gas station now, and yeah, nice little nice gas station. Got the little solar tower there by FSBT, or at least the model of it. Nice little thing there, and yeah, I think we'll head down here. And as we head to the store, I think it's time to wrap things up because literally it's going to lead us to the main road at least to the store now. So, final thoughts, conclusion, and rating. So, I'm about to give it a rating out of five. I'm going to have to give it, it's going to be a bit of a harsh one, around about a four out of five, I think, because yeah, a lot of it is just because of things like the lack of AI workers and that. The ability of, you know, for example, yeah, again, can we even do this straight bit of road here? From here, literally, one road. Can it do that? Yeah, it simply can. Like, I tried it there. I've even tried it to, like, the road. This should just go down the damn road in that. And, yeah, target is unreachable in that. So, that's going to be a big oof in that. Also, yeah, I think apart from that, it's. Uh, it is a good map, that is stunning, it is beautiful, in that. Yeah, perhaps I don't get fully behind the whole story aspect of it, in that. But, again, that could be just a me thing, personally, in that. But it is a stunning map, it is a lot of nice underneath hills, in that. It's just a lot of it is a very compact together, in that. It's a nice little quaint, compact map. It's not going to be for everyone, I know this is going to be pretty, I would say, undecisive or unpopular, in that, necessarily, but. Yeah, I know this is going to maybe not be everyone's cup of tea in that, or coffee in that. But yeah, for me, yeah, it's a nice little quick map. Will I play it? Personally, no. Okay, it's just not my vibe of it. It's not a UK map. It's not a European map. And yeah, it's not an American map. Not just because it's like South American map, South American maps. I do play, or have played on some South American maps, but this ain't going to be one of them to that. But things like the custom icons and that, so for example, animal cells and that, bells and mineral cells, that I do like. But yeah, overall, it's a good map and that. Don't get me wrong, it's a good map and that. No bugs, nothing game breaking, no nothing like that. I'm running for accidentally a while overnight because, yeah, I was going to make to record this Friday night, but at that point, I just got over work. I was being tired all day in that, and. Yeah, ham set properly for what five days and that. So yes, this is why that video has been coming out. I have prioritized mod reviews and map tours. I doubt I'm gonna do mod reviews now for Thursday and Friday because Thursday I had everything all set up and that ready to go. I had all my notes on a 
uh, LibreOffice, basically the knockoff version of Word and that, but for whatever reason, it went to work and that, left my PC on and that, didn't save the document and that, stupidly, and yeah, Windows did end up dating that, so yeah, now it is slightly more than that. It currently is, yeah, 7.30 in that, so I'm trying to get this out of that. But yeah, so we had some nice spots on Friday, you know, the Valmetto ones, the Passive 4, Irma Ripper. Weirdly, the Brando Killer was 5x40 mod, I'm not too sure about that, because a lot of it is just like a reskin version of what we already got in that. But I know 40 mod does a lot of custom, high detail stuff in that, so yeah, not too sure on that. Yeah, I doubt I'll do mod reviews on those and that, because yeah, by the time I get this mod review, those mod reviews out and that, especially if I just do the Friday mods and that, it ain't gonna be out until like dinner time on Saturday and that, and by that point, a lot of people's gonna be interested in that, because that's gonna be the downside of, if you do do it straight away and that, it doesn't get the views and that, as I've noticed on my other recent videos and that, but there are gonna be videos coming out today and tomorrow and that, because I've got four videos i got to either edit or upload. A lot of them is just editing and upload and we do a little bit of tweaking on the PC. Uh, there's one video that's almost ready to go and actually just do little tweaks on the PC and that. But the main job is going to be thumbnails and that and two of those videos of my... It's going to be some custom challenges I'm going to be doing in that. So, yeah, perhaps something like that should be done at Sorry for FS32 but I thought, okay, do something a bit different than that. Between mod reviews and that, map tours and let's plays and that. So, yeah, anyways, I am waffling on long enough, but anyways, that's going to be it today. As always, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe to the channel yet, then please do. It really helps me a lot. If you want to comment down below, then feel free. If you want to share them, please be my guest. But first, you to do, you are going to stay. But for now, it's me from Revolution Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.